So I wanted to show you the mobile application for Teams. And right out of the gate here, when we open it up, you're going to notice I get this long, lengthy feed because the activity panel is going to be essentially where I start. Now, the cool thing is you've got this drop down, so I can actually choose team activity, and then I can specifically see distinct teams and their respective activity, or even my activity, so the things I've been doing in those teams. Additionally, I can jump into chat. If I want to jump into any of my chats or compose a new chat up there in the top, I can look at my distinct teams. So I can jump into Smart Bar, and I can see all of my conversations with the most recent being shown first. I can reply to any of these conversations. I will have limited access to what I can actually upload, so it's, it's isolated to just the camera and pictures. I can start a new conversation if I want to, again, with the same limitations, but I can still do mentions if I want to. So I can still start typing Canvas Facts here, and that's going to pull up Canvas Facts if I wanted to mention that person. Uh, I can go to my tabs, and I can actually look through my different tabs. So I can access Poly here. It's going to open it up in a browser window. I can go to that talking points draft and I can actually see that file rendered here in my app. I can even tap edit and it will open it in Word if I want to try editing in Word on my iPhone. So you can still be productive even if you can't necessarily link files. So that is the mobile app and you can even set your status to away available, whatever you need to. Uh, you can check out your saved panel. Remember I saved some of those conversations. And you can even go into settings and set up your notifications. So that is the mobile app for meetings.